I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with the town. Um, this is the library in the winter. Um, and I just absolutely loved being in Lund. Um, there's a huge international student community and the student life there was great. Um, I lived in an international student corridor where I met so many great friends that I still talk to every day on Facebook. Um, and I traveled around Europe after the semester was over and now I have friends all over, all over the world basically. So it was a really great experience. Um, and then I took three different physics classes. Um, the physics classes I took were with Swedish students. Um, two of them that I took were really small classes. There were maybe 10, 15 students and I was the only girl and the only non-Swedish student. So that was kind of intimidating, but it was a really great experience. Um, and the way they learn there, the way they solve physics problems is actually kind of different than here. So it was really interesting for me to um, observe how they go about starting a problem or how they, they're so motivated. Um, when they get to class, they have all these questions for the professor and they've been thinking about um, what we're learning in class. So it was just a very different kind of interactive academic atmosphere that I really enjoyed. Um, and I was able to, so I was there for winter and spring. Um, winter was really cold and really dark, but I got to do a lot of great things. I took a 24 hour train ride up to Lapland, which is the very northern part of Sweden, above the Arctic Circle, and I went on this awesome dog sledding trip. Um, they offered these trips organized by student groups in Lund. I actually just went with my friends on our own. Um, there are so many different organized student trips that you can go on. Um, the great thing about me living in the International Student Corridor was I met many friends that also wanted to do fun trips and travel. So I went on this amazing dog sledding trip that I will never have a chance to do that again. Um, so it's a really cool experience that I had. Um, my, one of my favorite parts about the Swedish culture is fika, and that means um, coffee break, basically kind of like a coffee break, sit and chat with your friends for a really long time. And you could do it at any time of the day. Um, so in all my lectures, uh, I would have like a three hour lecture, but the professor would talk for about 45 minutes, then we'd take a 15 minute coffee break. Then he'd talk for about 45 more minutes, and we'd have another coffee break. So it was very um, informal, and it was just a really great way to get to know people around you. Um, and I love coffee, so I really enjoyed the coffee consumption in Sweden. It was a lot, and really great cinnamon rolls as well. Um, the academic atmosphere was great, and I learned a lot, um, both phys about physics, and um, I took a Swedish class. Um, so that was really great, and the student life is wonderful as well. Lund is like UCSB, um, but in Sweden, sort of. Um, everyone's biking around, it's a small, community, um, college town, and the student life is great. So this is a picture from uh, what's called a sitting, which is like a formal dinner, um, lots of fun. Real quick, and all the courses in Lund are taught in English? Uh, not all the classes. I actually showed up to my first day of class. Uh, I was one of the 10 people in the room, the only girl, the only non-Swedish person, and they started speaking for 10 minutes in Swedish. And I raised my hand, and. They kind of looked at me, didn't say anything, and they kept speaking, and finally, uh, they figured out that I didn't speak Swedish. And they were so apologetic, they were like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, we didn't know. We'll teach the class in, in English for you. So they found me an English textbook, and they translated all the homework assignments, and the whole classroom switched over to speaking English. Wow. Um, everyone in Sweden speak, knows English, and they love speaking it, they love to practice it. Um, so, yeah, you can definitely take all your classes in English, and. They're very accommodating. Thank you.